So our ancestors are waiting for us to react. For the creation, according to Roman 8, from 19 to 22, for the creation was subjected to frustration and has been growing as in the pains of childbirth right up to the present time, waiting in eager expectation for the children of God to be revealed, to liberate it from its bondage to decay and bring it into the freedom of glory of the children of God. Should I read that again? Because he's not, you need to, you, you, you need to do the work. You know, they don't know how to read that their Bible, that Karen. Everything is inside there. He's waiting for you, 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 you to come wake up. Mm. It's, it's interesting. <laughs> Africa, a beautiful land, a beautiful Africa that we've been pregnant with for so many years. Now we'll be showing you that picture of our logo. That Africa is in the stomach of the colonial terrorists. Mm? yet to be born, waiting to be delivered. And if we do not meet wifey correctly, it will die. Africa, a land whose ancestors were divinely led to occupy a very rich ancestral land, full of valuable resources. That's why you are a target. Africa, a continent bleeding for other continents to live, develop and prosper while our children and our little ones die of hunger. Africa, a place sacrificing their youths and their children on the altar of colonial greed and selfishness. They will never get enough. They will never have enough. It's never enough for them. Africa, a place that we all long that one day it will rise and take its own prideful, prideful and rightful place. For over a thousand and five hundred years, some cruel ancestors from other continents went around to suppress, overpower, massacre, steal, and destroy everything that was in their path. As we watch, people like Bill Gates, the man that cannot manage a wife and two daughters. Bill Gates, with all his money, he cannot manage a wife and two daughters. They are still continuing in their evil ways of their fathers and their ancestors because they have resources. Lenny Bill Gates, have you ever looked at that man and see life? As a son, like I was waiting in Angiga. Yes. Have you ever seen with all his billion, all the kind of daddy geo? I remember when I used to be at uh, with those people. I said that the Gio is in town. Come and see him. I said, I am not going to see that man that looks like Onye I refuse mm. to. Because every time I see the daddy Gio, even on TV, I say, how are you in charge and all these things? And you look like you're bonga fit, like Ogro. Yes. Although African ancestors, our ancestors, our wonderful ancestors, yes. although they fought hard, they were obviously defeated due to certain limitations and their underestimation of the level of wickedness of their enemies. And we know who these enemies are. By the way, there is a video there about Arab supremacy and um, other things that you need to know. Because some of you wrapping yourself, uh, following them, going to Mecca and dying there in 500 degree temperature, oh. you better know thyself. Know okay. thyself. Where is the God of your ancestors before the Arab came to collect you and your people? Oh. Where is that God? Go and search for him. Take off that stupid scarf and go and look for the God of your ancestors. Enslaved our people for over 1,000 years. Castrated black men. Castrated black men for real. Please go and watch the video. Go and watch the horror. Even before before the white man came, they have done the evil. Hmm. And you are here tying your hair like Ogri to go where I don't. As we speak, hmm. the private parts of our brothers, our ancestors are still in the living rooms of their leaders. As you speak right hmm. now, their private part is there in the bottle looking at them. Harrow, abomination. And you, because you are so out. You don't know who you are. You sympathize with your enemies, people that came to steal and destroy. I worship themselves. Ah, say what? 
It's sad. So when they understood their limitation, we we're talking about our ancestors and the cause of defeat, they sent their children to go to that land of the enemies and learn who they are so that we will return with the information because that's what they came. They, what, that's what they did. They came to us, learned us, realized who we are, deal with us, destroy us, and then keep moving. For us, on the other hand, we have learned who they are. We are not destroyers of uh, humanity. Maybe we will stop these evil ways of the colonial terrorists. We will return to turn things around for our children and the next generation. So today we'll continue to educate and enlighten our people on the ways of our ancestors and how we can partner with other lovers of truth and humanity to discover a new and a better way of peacefully living together on the universe. As you can see, these leaders, go and check all of them. As long as they have been leading us, go and see their background, where they went to school at, how they, you know, where they came from. This is the same group of people. They are recycling themselves. The same group of people rec recycling themselves over and over again. But we are saying enough. Who's goes in? We will not sit around and watch you steal our resources while our children are dying of hunger. These people are so evil that they will cause war, send their brothers and sisters to come and start asking us for money to go and feed an African child. So do not underestimate them. No. If you are looking for devil, that's what it is. Yeah. He's not anywhere with heat. The heat is on here on earth. With the evil that they are committing everywhere, there are resources. They will displace indigenous peoples, bring back their terror, bring on terrorists. It's just the same group of people. Go and check them. Yes. The power structure, they call them here in America, the establishment. No shit. Yes. It's so bad that the regular people here don't know what to do. Well, they don't even know what's going on. They are busy working. They put their bills on their head. You pay for a bill. You pay for a house for 30 years. You pay for a phone. You pay for them more. You pay for this. You pay for that. They don't even know what is going on. Then every four years, they will say, oh, come and join us in election. You're voting. Come on. Come and join us. Everyone is enslaved. Everyone all is over the world. All over the world. Right. And they're committing crimes all over the world in the name of American interests. Americans don't even know what they're doing. British they interests. Britons don't even know what they are doing. It's all about the establishment for themselves and their children. And it's about time people wake up and work together. So I am going to pull up the PowerPoint of the day. Brothers and sisters, our topic once again is that your ancestors, my ancestors, they are waiting for me to react. I think my ancestors are very happy with me because I communicate with them on a daily basis, you know. So perhaps it's for you guys to do the same. So we're going to look at legacy of whites and Arabs upon Africans. Again, we'll post that video if you want to go and learn about your Arabic, Islamic uh, uh, information that you need to know. So you can get yourself out of whatever, whatever you may have wrapped yourself to over, over the course of the years. The decolonization process for the Black world. And we're going to take some home points and then call it a day. So, of course, we cannot move forward without reminding others. Please continue to help us to share and like and subscribe. We are going home, people. We are going home. We will eventually try to break this down in Igbo. Uh, correct Igbo, not the one that I speak because of the colonial terrorists. I can't even speak my language in a correct manner. Thanks to them. So if you know how to break this down for our brothers and sisters and mothers to understand, that's what we are going to do. And for those of you running events and speaking English to our grandmothers and all this, you need to stop that nonsense. Anything that you're doing in our land must be spoken in our language so that our grandmothers will be engaged about Iha and Muna was So let's, let's, let's look at the 1999 Constitution Dark Connection. You heard what our brother said, access stripping is what they're doing because the estate is the gra their great-grandfather's estate, the Ost Ottoman Danfoud of Hassan Hawagen. The one that said that he must ruthlessly prevent a change of power, he must use the minorities of the North as a willing tool and the South as a conquered territory and never allow us to rule over ourselves or even control our own future. What a demonic declaration. 
and it has been ongoing because we can show you people in their boss that have helped them to continue this legacy. Hmm? Once you get this, like a good old boy network, once you get in there, you go and wear your tuban like uh, this man here that I'm looking at, uh, Madi Bello, because he's not a star, he's an idiot. You, you wear your tuban or turban as he did, and then they will put you in a bus and give you the other kind of hat, a uh, cap, and then you guys will be in a bus, air-conditioned bus with fan and uh, cotton, driving down because you guys are sellout. They do it everywhere. We must take, now take the responsibility for our future and take charge of our spaces because nobody else is going to do it for us. We want to uh, declare the, first, the fair use uh, disclaimer. We are using this information for advocacy because some people swear to God that this information will not go out. Every time we post something, we it gets blocked. And then once you do your appeal they were like oh we made a mistake so what and anyway,